Essential skills number 10. I don't know what happened to 9. I think i got to come back to it. I'll come back to 9. But this is essential skills number 10. Again, this stuff can be found at www.nkinfinity.com. All right, check out the website. Here it is. You just click on New York State Teachers. You click on Review. There's some review exams. There's spiral reviews. And here, where is the essential skills? And we're working on powers of I right now. If you want the document, click on the document. Have it for practice for yourself. At any rate, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. That helps me out. And all this work is paying off for you and for me. And we help each other out. All right. Also, do me a favor. Send it to some friends. Post it on Twitter. Hey, you need some help with Algebra 2 Trig? Here's a great website. Come to this website and get as much free information as you want. All right, let's talk about I. We'd like to talk about I as our I circle. I to the power of one is just I. So it's just I. I to the second is negative two. I squared is negative one. This is by far the most important thing you're going to have to remember. It comes up all the time that I squared is negative one. I cubed is just negative I, and I to the fourth is negative one. So if I to the one is I, opposite in the I circle is just negative. If I to the negative, if I squared is negative one, just to the opposite side of the circle is positive one. And if you look over here, he's a little bit fuzzy, sorry about that. I just did a couple of examples for you. And what I did was I, when you multiply bases the same, you just add the exponents, I to the seventh. And if I count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's negative i. I can also do this on my calculator. Negative i to the fifth. One, two, three, four, i to the fifth is just i. I now remember when exponents raise the exponents, you gotta multiply them. I don't know if those are behind my head or not. I to the eighth. Well, every four is one, so that's just one. And I to the 21st, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21. Oops, no, this is 21. 21 is I. All right, let's just get going. So we want to simplify this. So I could just type this in my calculator, but uh, that wouldn't be as much fun. Remember, every four I's is 1. So I to the 6th is really... 8 times i to the 4th times i squared. Well, this is just 1, and i squared is negative 1, so this becomes negative 8. This is negative 8. i to the 5th is really, so 6, is really i to the 4th times i, so this is just 1, so it's 6i, so this is just 6i. Now, i cubed, we know, is negative i, so this is negative 5 times negative i, which really just makes it 5i. i squared is negative 1, so this is really just negative 1, so that makes this plus 3, plus 7i, minus 9. So now we're going to put it all together. Negative 8 and 3 is negative 5. 6i and 5i... is 11i plus 7i. Oh, I forgot about this negative 9. So, getting a little sloppy here, kids. So, negative 9 and negative 8 is negative 17, plus 4 is negative 14, 6, 11, 18i, plus 18i. Now, I can check this. The cool thing about this calculator is I can check this in my calculator. So, I'm just going to type it in. 8i to the 6th, 8i to the 6th. I'm going to copy that. Uh, plus 6i to the 5th, plus 6 Man, it's not going to let me copy it. I thought I could copy and paste. I to the fifth. No. I to the fifth. Minus 5i cubed. Minus 5. Now, if I got this wrong, I can go back and check my work, which I could have gotten it wrong because I was getting all sloppy in there. 
minus 3i squared, minus 3i squared, minus 7i, my, did I put plus 7? Oh, I put plus 7i too. Shoot. So that, all right, I already know I got the wrong answer. Plus 7i. And don't use the i variable. You got to use this imaginary i and then minus 9. So you get negative 14 plus 18i. Now, the reason I got plus 18i was because I made that a positive 7i. That should be a minus 7i. So 6i minus 7i is negative i plus 5i is negative. So it's negative 14. Uh, 6 and that makes 11. So it's minus 4i minus 8i. Why would we get minus 8i? Did I type this in wrong? 6i cubed minus 4 5i cubed minus 3i squared minus 7i minus 9. All right, now I got to find my mistake. So 8i6 plus 6i, oh, there it is, plus 6i to the fifth. Should be 6i to the fifth here. So you can't make dumb mistakes. There it is, plus 4i. And that's what I would get here, plus 4i. All right, geez, that was bad. Messing up i. Let me try to do this a little bit better. So I've got 2xi. I just don't like the way these were, like, short change like this. Sorry about that. i minus 4i squared. So I'm going to distribute. So I get 2xi squared minus 8xi cubed. Well, this is negative 1. So this is 2x times negative 1 minus 8 times x times negative i. So this becomes negative 2x plus 8x i. Now, I think I can check that by stowing in any number, 2.3 control var x. I'm going to check this. 2xi, 2x times i, parenthesis, i minus, it's time consuming, but why not get it right? 4i squared Press enter. That's what I get. Now let's type my answer in. Negative 2x plus 8xi. Got the same thing. There it is. So I know I got it right. And there's a cool way. That's a cool way to check your answers. Well, I don't know about cool, but it's definitely a nice way to check your answers. So write this in standard a plus bi form. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 2 plus i times 2 plus i times 2 plus i. So I'm going to multiply these two together first. So I get 4 plus 4i ma plus i squared. I'm still going to clean this up, though. 2 plus i is equal to, this is really negative 1. So this really becomes 3 plus 4i. Now I'm going to double distribute these. 6 plus 8i plus 3i plus 4i squared. Well, remember, this is negative 1. Remember I told you that comes up over and over again? So this is really negative 4, so I get 2 plus 11i. Now, I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I'd get go through and do that so fast. Let's do this. 2 plus i cubed. 2 plus 11i. There it is, kids. Got it. Still got to show your work, though, right? You still got to be able to do it. So 15 plus 6i minus 40i minus 16i squared. Remember, this is negative 1, so that makes this positive 16. So that gives me 31 minus 34i. Going to check it, though, because I easily could make mistakes. Parentheses. Negative 3 plus 8i plus 8i, parenthesis, parenthesis, negative 5 minus 2i, negative 5 minus 2i. 
Enter. 31 minus 34. Ah, yay! Let's keep going. What we got left? If the voltage produced by three batteries is this, E, if the voltage produced by three batteries is negative eight minus and each, each, and the voltage produced by another battery is that, what is their total voltage? Blah. This is just like, can you understand it? We're going to multiply this by three plus six plus four I. So this is negative 24 minus 33 I plus six plus four I. So this is going to be negative 18 minus 27 I. I'm not going to bother to check that. I'm sure it's right. Simplify this. Well, remember, I squared is negative 1, so that's negative 2, plus I cubed is negative I, so that's really 3 times negative I, which is minus 3I. Don't believe me? Let's check it. 2I squared plus 3I cubed plus 3I cubed. Negative 2 minus 3i. There it is. So the way I like to handle these silly questions, first of all, you can do it on your calculator, but I want to be able to do it by hand. So I always write these as multiples of 4 and then whatever's left over. So this is i to the 12th i plus i to the 16th i squared plus i to the 28th i cubed plus n equals 0. So this is just 1, so this is i, plus this is just 1, and this is negative 1, so this is minus 1, and i to the 24th is just 1, so this is, oh wait, and i cubed is negative i, plus n equals 0. Well, these just cancel, and I get negative 1 plus n equals 0, or n equals 1. Now, having said that, I could have done it this way. i cubed plus, I, oh, it's 13, plus 18, plus i to the 18th. What am I doing? Getting old, kids. <whistles> Need coffee, I think. Plus i to the 31st. Can't use this. i raised to the 31st. And I just press equals, oh, negative 1. OK, negative 1 plus n equals there. Boom, done. All right. So any multiple of 4 is just 1. So this is a multiple of 4, so that's just 1. So this is 4xi plus 5y plus, now this is really negative i. So this is really minus 6xi plus, again, this is just 1, so plus 2y. So I get 7y minus x minus 2xi. Notice they wanted the not i thing first and the i thing second, so this would be the right answer. Again, i to the eighth is just 1. Any multiple of 4 is just 1. So this is x minus, now we've got to be careful here, i to the 6th is equal to i to the 4th times i squared. That's just 1, so this is really just negative 1. So this is plus y. Done. Shoot. So this is going to give me x times 27i to the 6th plus 2xi to the 12th. Well, i to the 12th is a multiple of 4, so that's just 1. So this is just plus 2x. This one's a little bit crazier. So this is going to be 27x. Now, i to the 6th, again, is i to the 4th. 
I to the sixth is really equal to I to the fourth times I squared. So this is just negative one. So this is negative 27x plus 2x. And again, you can use your calculator to check that. Stole a number in for x? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. So does that mean my answer is negative 25x? Oh, I got to check that one. So I think I've got something stored in for x. So 3x, 3i. So x, parenthesis, 3i squared. Oh, I'm going to show you an easier way to do this one. Maybe. Cubed. Plus 2x. I forgot the plus. 2x i to the 12th. Oh, it doesn't like xi. No, I got I got I didn't type it in right. Got to type it in right, kids. Cubed. N name not a function. What is it? It's having a hard time with. Let me make sure I got something stored in for x. 2.3 control var x. I should. But maybe I st stopped it. So, oh, maybe I also have to do this sometimes. X times parenthesis 3. I bet that's what it is. I bet I just forgot that time. Sometimes it does not like implied multiplication. Negative 57.5. I came up with 25x. Negative 50. Oh, they came up with positive 57x. Oh, yeah, negative 25x. Negative 25x. There it is. All right, I got it right. That's it. Oh, got all the answers down there anyway. Ka-ching, baby. There we go. That's done. All right, that one's finished. That one's too bad.